Welcome back to the garage. What I'm working on today is I got the little bobcat in the garage and I'm going to replace one of the hydraulic hoses on it. In a previous video you'll see I've used this thing to haul a 12 valve engine around and in that same video I talk about how to be safe and not exit the machine with the load up in the air because one of these hydraulic hoses could bust and the load could come crashing down on you. Now if you watch the end of that video when I'm explaining that you'll see a trail of oil on the floor and I noticed later on that I actually had a hydraulic hose leaking at that time, so lucky for me it was for the tilt on the forks and it wasn't for actually lifting the load arms. But I'm going to get to replacing these hoses on there and I'll sit you up over there and we'll get to it. As you can see, I want to give you a closer view of that. The coating's coming off of this and if you push down on it, it makes a mess pours a little bit of hydraulic fluid out. So the one right next to it, you can see the coating's coming off of it already. It doesn't leak, but I might as well bite the bullet while I'm here and do both of them at the same time. So time to get to it. Now full disclosure, this will probably be a little bit more different of a video than I've done in the past. I went to an auction over the weekend Long story short, I didn't buy anything, but they had about 35 old cars and trucks sitting out in the field, and I'll probably try to sprinkle a little bit of that footage throughout this video, maybe make it a little bit more entertaining, but I don't want to get rid of that footage completely because there was some really neat stuff sitting around, so I hope you like that. Welcome back to the garage. What I got going on today is, went up to an auction in the beautiful city of Edgar Springs, Missouri, which is about an hour and a half away from me. Called the auction service on the phone, had a lot of these vehicles listed. Hey, do you have a title for most of them? Oh yeah, come on down, we got a title. Well, there's about 35 vehicles here. And I think there's four or five that have titles to them. The one I was kind of eyeing was this old Dodge truck sitting here, but I don't know. It's quite a ways to haul it. So, let me see if I can find some other videos of these vehicles without people standing around and I'll get back to you. Just got back from the parts store and you can see the new hose compared to the old one. The new hose is a Gates hose. It is 3 8 in diameter. Had to make it a little bit shorter than the original hose on here because you can see a spot right there from where that had been rubbing when the lift arms go up and down. This hose was a little bit too long so had them shortened up a little bit. Get to put on the bobcat. Here's another group of cars sitting down on the lower edge of the field at this auction. Got a couple Fords here. Got a Nash. A Nash sitting back in here. I guess they made some of these with vinyl tops. Very unusual in my opinion, but that's that's pretty un unusual for me to see around around here. An old Ford there, and I'm not sure what this car is here, but it says Power Glide on the back on that emblem. Let's see what kind of let's see what kind of motors in this bad boy. Oh, that's Bel Air. Okay. Some kind of Chevrolet. Pretty neat. All right, got the hose on there, all nice and tight. It is still a little bit close to this bracket, but I think it'll be just fine. Didn't lose too much hydraulic fluid neither. Always, always make a mess in here, no matter what though. There's a little bit better view of that truck. You can kind of see on the windshield, it's got a sticker there in the corner with a number on it, which means it has a title, so. Everybody and their brother's been looking at that old truck. But, like I said, there's about 30 or 35 vehicles out here. A couple of nice old GMC pickups, but that's about it. I'll get back with you if I can get some.
I went to that auction over the weekend and tried to pick up that old Dodge truck for a project I got coming up that you guys don't want to miss out on. But as it goes sometimes at auctions, somebody wants something more than you do and somebody was willing to pay a little bit more for that truck. But that's just the way it goes. It was a little bit rougher than what I expected, so I have no problem letting that one slip through my hands and just find another one that's in a little bit better shape. But thank you very much for watching the video. Leave a comment down below and consider subscribing if this is the kind of content that you're into. I wanted to also say a special thanks to all my subscribers out there. I've only been doing these videos for about six months and I've gotten a lot of really good comments and words of encouragement from you, from you all about these videos so I wanted to thank you all for that. Uh, I would also like to thank the Fox Shop and Central Oregon Shenanigans. Both of those channels have also kind of inducted me into the YouTube family in a way. Gave me a lot of good words of encouragement told me what kind of things will be coming up in the future to look out for. So, And if you haven't heard of those channels, the Fox Shop is run by a guy named John Fox who works on OBS Ford trucks and Broncos, does a lot of paint work. And if you haven't heard of Central Oregon Shenanigans, that's James Rogers and Kyle Singleton. They're two really good friends that work on OBS Ford trucks. They also have a Ford pickup that somebody has already put a 4BT in but is not finished up. So they got that as a project and they're going to kind of go through it, fix everything, do it the right way. But I wanted to thank both of those channels as well. If you like what you see with those channels, go ahead and subscribe to them as well. They have a lot of good content. And if you do, just go ahead and tell them Zane sent you. And just a friendly reminder that it doesn't matter if you're working on your project in a garage or in your driveway. What matters is that you go out there, you do the job yourself, and you learn more about your project, whatever that project may be. My name is Zane, and I'll catch you next time.